most people consumed information and they consume the information that you produced if they consumed information at all. I think all of a sudden journalists are kind of face to face with the fact lots of people are speaking all at once. There isn't just one way to be a journalist anymore. And the one advantage that younger generations have over older generations is not that they know more, it's simply that they have less to unlearn. Determining the veracity of something on Twitter is obviously a lot different than determining whether a government official is telling you something that's true or not. It's hard to change your habits after you've had them for a while. So I think that we tend to mythologize how good news reporting used to be in the past, and it's not entirely how it was. So we need to keep that in mind. There isn't always a golden age, and sometimes we can hurt ourselves by imagining that there was. Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm your host, Buddy Kunana. Tonight's topic is the future of print media. And uh, we said goodbye to uh, Al Justin Chan, who is the musician and entertainment editor of PSST. By joining us still is Kathy. Kenny Ngo, who's the editor-in-chief, and her brother, Kirk Stephen Ngo. I only found out you're her brother <laughs> a few moments ago, who is a chef and yes. food editor. Yeah. So welcome back, Kathy. Thank Kenny, you for having me. And of me. course, Kirk, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's have introductions. Kirk, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, I'm a full-time chef. I work in a restaurant in BGC. I was the oh. one who opened it. Which restaurant? Um, if I may. Sure, yeah. Uh, it's Flatiron. It's in Upton okay. Mall. Uh, it's continental restaurant. It's a continental restaurant. Just opened last May, 28th. Flat Iron. Flat Iron. Flat Iron. Named after the, the Flat Iron District of New York. Now, when you say continental uh, uh, It's Western and it's American and European in concept. But the food, because our philosophy is no borders cuisine, it's worldwide. So wow. some Filipino touches, Asian touches, but mostly continental food. And uh, what is the best thing on the menu? It's the brisket. It's, a, it's my idea, actually. Okay, uh, we executed it. Uh, <laughs> it's flat iron brisket six. We have the number six there because it's uh, cooked for six hours at least wow. for it to be that yeah. fork tender. No, no, I mean yeah. six hours. Anything cooked for six hours yeah. got to be good. Yes, you yes. Try slow it. cooking. Okay, yes. that's so the the inspiration came from the uh, Texas, the Midwest part, because their briskets there are cooked overnight. See, I mean, no, he's your brother, and he's. Yeah on the team and he handles food and uh, and sh he's a chef, a food editor. He, yes. he has his, the food segment. And okay. see, so just talking to him for two minutes or one minute, <laughs> you know, I'm already interested in what he has to say. Exactly. Yeah. Any, anything that is related to food in the magazine, she bickers me. Yeah. So, <laughs> Kirk, what's this? What's this? What's this? I can't, I can't understand like, this. I, I, I tasted this. I don't understand it. Yeah. And he'd ask me, what is it? Or just show me a picture. Yeah, and, and he'd know ingredients, how it would taste, yeah. what was done. And the, the, the most help that I gave her is how to pronounce it well. How to properly <laughs> pronounce it in somebody, in a French guy's face. Yeah. Because yeah. they're very particular with their language. Yes. Where did you study culinary? I studied in De La Salle College of St. Benil. Okay. I majored in culinary arts. Yes. And this has been my interest since I was a kid. He, he loved it. Yeah. He graduated magna cum laude. <laughs> wow. And he, he's one of those people, he opens a cupboard, checks what's there, and is able to cook something. Yeah. Out of what you see. Yeah. I mean, I'm, so I'm, those, I'm the person, <laughs> if one ingredient is missing, it's over. See, I'm, I'm more of like a follow the recipe kind of guy as yeah. well. But see, that's, a, th that's an artist there. Because exactly. you know, I like to tell my friends I cook, no? but I, I, I'm not good without a recipe. Me too. Right, right? I got to follow everything. But this guy, if you tell me you can see something, a bunch of stuff in the cupboard, yeah. and make a creation, that's art. Yeah, right, he, there you he started go. this, I think the first time I noticed, he was like nine. Yeah. I said, nobody's here. We don't have food. And then he went to the kitchen open. He said, we can cook this. I'm like, no, we can't. We're lacking an ingredient. He's like, no, we just have to do this. So that's when I first realized that, oh, we have a chef here. We have yeah. someone who loves Food. Yeah. But, but what is your specialty? What, what do you like to cook? I mean, um, because it's a continental restaurant, so you have different types. Yeah. What is your personal specialty? Or if favorite? I'm going to be asked that question, I always answer uh, everything under the sun except, I'm sorry, wedding cakes. <laughs> <laughs> wedding cakes. Because, in my opinion, uh, I like the, the food to be immediately appreciated. Yes. But in, unlike wedding cakes, which takes around two to three days, and just see it, then take a slice of it. And, then and I've it. never actually eaten a wedding cake that I like. <laughs> right? I mean, oh, uh, think about it. I've been to a lot of weddings. I never, how it looks. Yeah, that's but it. I've never really tasted one yeah. that was wow. No. I tried everything, every field of the culinary <laughs> arts, but that's the field that I least like. 
nice, because it nice. takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Now, correct question. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people write about uh, uh, food. Yeah. You know, I mean, that people blog about it. They call yes. it in newspapers. What makes your writing your? What, what yeah. angle do you take? How is yours different yeah. from all these other people? My angle is always what's current and late, relatable to the Filipino people right now. Like my latest article right now is the salted egg revolution, because if you, right now I traveled to Singapore last two weeks ago. Yeah. And I saw there everything was made out of salted egg. Salted egg chicken, salted egg potato chips, salted egg fish skin. Crab then I was curious, what's uh -huh. this? Then I tasted it. Then I, I told myself, this is the next big thing in the Philippines. So I need to write it right wow. now. And wow. right now, if you Google or you search for in the Philippine market, what's salted egg, there's only a few who, sold, who, who yeah. sells it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, Salted egg is part of yeah. Philippine cuisine, but it's yeah. always been kind of, you know, something, yeah. something, it's something side, ignored, so it's uh, ignored people. Okay, it, in that egg. article of mine, it's, I told everybody that it's not, it's going to be the next big thing here. It's definitely going to be the next big thing here because it's a staple in the Filipino diet. Yes. And it's very flexible to, to, to buy. You can buy it everywhere. Sure. And the recipes online are very easy to duplicate. So wow. that's the next big thing. And, and Filipinos are always, you know, after what's the next big yeah. thing. Sure, sure. And our Asian counterparts, they're so quick to, to decide on a fad. And we're so quick to follow suit yes. and then make it even more interesting. Yes. So when he proposed yes. that, I said, I got to agree because I've actually been seeing um, about four or five foodies that I love. And they've been talking about salted egg. Okay, question about salted egg. Just, yes. just a quick yes. question. Yes. What, what interesting stuff can be made? Like uh, what? What? You know, because salted yeah. like for me, you know, it's it's an egg that's salty, yeah. and what what can you do with it, right? Yeah, <laughs> we we use it in our salads as condiments or paired with grilled food or fried dried fish, right? What about pasta? But like right uh, now, you pasta. can see that in pastas, in in as in custards. Really? Yes. Crab um, meat. Crab meat. Uh, what the part they're using right now is the yolk. They 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 neglect, they neglect the the white yeah. part. Yeah. But the yolk yeah, is very true. flexible. They can incorporate it into sauces and make yeah. it into a pasta. Yeah, because traditionally the, yeah. the, the egg white, no? the egg white has yeah. been you know tasteless. Really, yes, so people yes. really kind of so it. the yolk is the part the part that gets used often right now for salted egg. In flat iron, do you have any uh, already uh, any salted egg um, recipe or things on the menu? Or still pending approval. <laughs> still pending approval. Cool. <laughs> now, as a chef, um, you know a lot of creative people out there coming out with things like this. Uh, how do you stay ahead of the curve? Like this salted egg thing, yeah. you know, brilliant. I'd say brilliant. But but how do you how do you stay ahead of the pack? Um, re it's all about research and reading all all the stuffs that are coming out of the internet, and also. The people who are posting it online as their first ideas, because it's amazing if you if you search hashtag food on Instagram, there are a million ideas there, and yes, you can just spot yes. a rare Absolutely. idea there, Absolutely. and make it your own. Absolutely. And, and he's so passionate, that's why I chose him. I actually didn't recruit him to the team; I forced him <laughs> to be part of the team because he is the only person I know who lives and breathes food. The TV shows he watches, yeah. it's all about food. The movies that he loves, it's all about food. He is constantly reading about food. And I, I realized, if I'm going to have people read about food on our site, it has to be from someone who loves it, just like how people love to you know, breathe air. That's how he is. Yeah. It's all about food for him. Now, yeah. you said you, you have 20 people, mm -hmm. and I think they're all like-minded individuals in, in, with their own fields of specialty, like their food, I'll just hear music, entertainment, things yeah. like that. How did you recruit 20 people like this? I mean, did you have like a, did you send like a face, a crowdsource? Hey, actually, I'm looking for, how did actually, you do it? No, it's, most of them are my friends and um, a few I recruited personally, but most of them were my friends who I knew were passionate about something. I just asked them, I said, I have this um, project and I need really passionate people. Do you want to write about, most of them were hesitant, didn't want to do it. I said, you know, it's really flexible. I just need, say one or two a month but now i've increased it to 10. <laughs> 10 a month yeah that's a, a lot month. of work it's yeah. actually um it's not because it's that's about they can write about yeah. whatever True. they want to yeah. write about so it's actually pretty easy and uh, um well, let me ask brother here why were you apprehensive at first i mean you know your sister's asking you for I, to be part of this great new idea yeah. well, well how come you were you know not you're not there the in the beginning i wasn't <laughs> confident in writing but i read a lot and I watch a lot of cooking shows. I realized that ever since I was a kid, I, I've watched 
more cooking shows than cartoons. So wow. That's, uh, she pushed that me to, <laughs> to, to write about food. And when I started my first article, which, which was things to not do in a restaurant. I thought you were going to say, it's because I was scared of my big sister. <laughs> um, she has some <laughs> mad moments. No, <laughs> you know, it seems like she runs, uh, no, she's a very cool person working with, but you know, like all yeah. editors in chief, yes. there's only got to be one captain of the ship. You know, I mean, that's yeah. how things work. No? And uh, my next question is, you know, dovetails from that. You have 20 people working for you. All of them are artists. Uh -huh. You're your artist, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Alge is an artist. I mean, how do you, how do you get all 20 people together? And you said it's a collaborative endeavor, free flowing ideas. How do you control or manage, not control, manage 20 free spirits? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, it's insane. Um, <laughs> it's really balancing everything. Sometimes I baby them, I ask them very nicely, I remind <laughs> them very nicely. And then when you know it doesn't work and they're all just kind of hanging loose and going around like chickens without their heads, <laughs> I have to go on, you know, what he said, mad mode or beast mode. And I just spew fire and remind them that, hello, we have a magazine. Yeah, I can't that picture that, but I don't want to see it. <laughs> 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 and um, I think as with every editor-in-chief, it's just really balancing everything. My team, um, even when I get mad, I make sure that I don't curse at them. I, I maintain respect. When I reprimand them, it's always in private. And when I praise them, it's always in public. I want everyone to know that they did a good job and that when they have ideas, um, I always appreciate it. But you know, sometimes people tend to ask the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Then I have to remind them that, guys, we're not kids anymore. Once is enough. So it's really just a balancing act. And again, you know, they balance me as well. So when I go beast mode for like three days straight, some of them would actually go and say, are you okay? What's wrong? <laughs> and they talk to me and yeah. you know, it reminds me that, okay, I got up. So it's really a community. Down. It's a yeah, community. It's a community. Nice, um, nice. We, I'm, I'm the captain or yeah. the boss, but I don't um, assert that unless absolutely needed, unless it's something that I feel could already damage the site, then I have to step in. But I always explain <coughs> to them why. I always tell them, you know, um, I, I got mad because of this and this is how we need to do things moving forward. So they, they you know, they understand. Do you and guys ever have like face-to-face -face meetings or it's all done virtual like on a Viber <laughs> thread or Facebook thread? We, how do you guys uh, do we it? We had three face-to-face -face meetings. Three? Since we started. Oh, that's But uh, everything is <laughs> online. Which, which online. is good with the traffic these days. Yes. Who wants to travel through yeah. the city, no? Know, and but we've never <laughs> had a complete team yes. meeting. Ever. It's yes, always sorry. like half is missing. But you know, I have to understand. Yeah, I mean, 20 people and, yeah. and you know, it's madness to try but, to um, go through the city. I'm hoping that we'll have hopefully a complete attendance because we're actually having a formal launch of our web magazine in November. Bravo. Wait, okay, we're, we have like 30 seconds to close. Let's have some last words. Uh, you first, Kurt. Um, we, everybody, we invite you to visit our page, www.psst.ph. It's a very wholesome online magazine and it's very relatable to the Filipino community. Yes. Jenny? And again, if you want to read something good, something nice, something relevant, and something informative, we promise you that always in pssd.ph we will give you the stories that you want to read and that you should read. Bravo, bravo. Guys, I have to say, when we first started this, talking about doing this show today, I thought, okay, another online mag and oh hum like that. No, I mean, but wow, I mean, you guys have a real great concept. You've got good people, and you know, I mean, I've talked to two of them, yeah. Kirk and and Alge, and I have to say, yeah, very pumped up. I can feel, I can feel the love. Huh? Thank, Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Good, good, bravo, and uh, good luck with your launch. Thank and you. uh, as we go forward, and you have, uh, you know, things that you want to announce to the public, more than happy, come down right here to GNN. Definitely. Russia. All right. Yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our show today on the future of print media and this wonderful online platform called PST or PSST.ph. Join us again next week on the show where we talk about what matters to you guys because you guys matter the most, PST. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, bravo. <laughs>